I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the parts of a volcano. I take three fingers right here in the center underneath I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line going around, up, and connect. I come over here on the left-hand side, and I'm just going to draw a wavy line down, wavy line up, wavy line down, wavy line out, wavy line in, Wavy line down, 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 off the page. I come back up to my right, and I'm going to put a wavy line down, wavy line out, wavy line down, wavy line up, wavy line in, wavy line down, 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 and off the page. I come back over here on the left and I'm going to draw slightly wavy line out off the page. Come over here on the right. We're going to draw a slightly wavy line off the page. I come right about here and I'm just going to draw a slightly wavy line out to the left. Jump over slightly wavy line out to the right. I come back up and now I can draw slightly wavy line connect. Come up to the very tippy top and we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, and inside, we're just going to draw a little curve line connect, little curve line connect. Maybe these are wavy lines connect. I think maybe wavy, wavy, wavy connect. One more if you can fit it. Wavy line. And uh, let's put another one up here. Wavy line, wavy line connect. Okay. Now we're going to label everything. These little wavy, wavy lines are pieces of ash. These flows down the side is made up of lava. This is another escape point for the volcano. This is the side vent and you can have more than one. We just drew one. And this is the central vent. This is the main part of the volcano going up and this down here is the magma and that is what starts everything going that's molten rock coming from the earth's mantle all right let's see how we're going to color this in okay we are going to triple color double color the whole volcano so the first thing i'm going to do drawing always starting from light to dark is I'm going to start with yellow, loop-de-loop, -loop, and I'm going to put the first coat of color on my molten rock. So I put yellow first, and then I come in with my next color, which is going to be gray, and just loop-de-loop -loop on top. Now remember, you don't have to color solid. As a matter of fact, you kind of don't want to color solid. You're just putting layers of color over layers of color. Okay. Since I have my gray out, I'm going to make my ash, these spaces up here, also gray. Next, I'm going to use uh, red and orange. And again, I'm just going to go over my other two colors, put another layer 
of color on top. This is the magma that's being pushed up from the earth. Last, I get my red. And that, I put over everything. And that should give you your magma coming up, becoming lava once it hits the outside vents and cascades down. Okay? Alright. I'm going to take my red orange and I'm just going to add a couple of lines to my explosion. Then I'm taking two colors of brown. If you don't have two colors of brown, just put some straight lines, or I should say curved lines. This is the mountain part of your volcano. All the way down where the magma starts. Just some regular light brown. Then go over that, put your brown lines top to bottom. And once you've done that, you can come around and color it all in. Now, if you have multicultural crayons, you can use all your browns. If you don't, just use your regular brown and use it first light and then dark. And you don't want to color so intensely that you lose your labels. That doesn't do you any good. So this shows you the outside, the inside, and now taking a blue-green, I'm going to add a little bit of loop-de-loop -loop lines to kind of represent the sky. And I'm going to come back over that with my gray and just add some loop-de-loop -loop lines to represent the smoke and the ash that you experience when you have a volcano explosion. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my magma starting from the Earth's mantle. When it reaches the surface, it goes into what we call lava. Clouds of tiny particles is the ash. The central vent, that's this part right here. This is how it moves towards the top of the surface. Sometimes it comes out the side. That's the side vent. And this is the crater right here at the top. I forgot to make that on the other, on the other picture. Oh, no. This is the crater. Don't forget. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Right here is the crater. I forgot. That's the top part of your volcano. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is the magma coming up towards the crater. This is the ash from the explosion. This is the lava once it hits the outside. This is the central vent that moves it forward. And this is the side vent where it escapes. Okay. Bye-bye.